uh, we weren't planning on reusing any of the, the cores. Um, the upper stage teams have worked uh, perfectly so far. Uh, the two burns were executed correctly. And um, now we'll see if uh, the upper stage avionics survive quite an arduous trip th uh, through the Van Allen belts. Uh, normally, uh, uh, the stage will pass very quickly through the Van Allen belts. Here, it's essentially dwelling there um, for, for several hours. Um, and then it's going to do a restart, um, uh, deplete its propellant, and go to transmars uh, injection. And um, the propellant levels all look good. Uh, the propellant, after the, after the second burn of the upper stage, we were um, only 0.3 sigma uh, away from predictions, so which is basically very minor. Um, so it, it has plenty of propellant to complete the uh, transmars injection, assuming that uh, the fuel doesn't freeze and the oxygen doesn't, bo oxygen doesn't boil off and the electronics don't get fried. So those are the issues. Um, we'll find out in a few hours if that, if that burn is successful. Um, I think if there's anything else I know that's worth, worth mentioning. Um, I, went out, I went out to the landing zone, took a look at the side boosters. Um, they look in, in really good condition. Um, so they're, they're both reflyable, uh, although, as I said, they're a um, combination of version 3 and version 4. So we will, <coughs> we're only going to be reflying really version 5 at, at this point. Uh, that, that launches shortly. And that, that'll be our mainstay. We'll, we'll stick to version 5 for the Falcon architecture. We don't expect to have a version 6.